So we're going to have to take that into account. And something that I believe wasn't taken into account, like, I've looked at the numbers because back when we were in 2012, I thought Miguel Cabrera should have won MVP because I believed what everyone told me, and I didn't really look at, you know, these numbers specifically, right? Yeah. Um, Like, for example, Harold Reynolds, who was on MLB Network at the time, he's still on MLB Network now, he said... It's the Triple Crown. Of course Cabrera wins it, right? And, I, you know, I would hear what a lot of these guys had to say, and I'd just be like, yeah, okay, you know, Triple Crown's rare, whatever, right? Yeah. But one thing, like, after looking at these numbers, I'm just like, how on earth did Mike Trout not win, right? Yeah. And we're going to get into the numbers in a little bit, but I understand Getting the triple crown is hard. I'm not saying it's not hard, but that's not, that's not what I'm saying at all. But the triple crown doesn't take into account defense or base running. It doesn't even, it, sometimes it can't even accurately reflect a player's true, like playing ability. Like Mm -hmm. it takes into account RBIs. It's like, how reliable are RBIs if you think about it? Mm-hmm. Yep, exactly. Because you're gonna get if you're a guy who bats fourth, you're going to have a lot more RBIs than a guy who bats first. You could be on the same level offensively, where you're both thirty home run guys who constantly hit for like a three hundred average, get on mm-hmm. base, you know, everything. But the guy who's batting number one is going to get a lot less RBIs than the guy who's batting fourth. The guy who's batting first could have a lot higher average, too, and still get way less RBIs. Unless unless you're on a team where the bottom of the order produces like that, but something like that's pretty rare. You know, where it's producing consistently to the level of the top of the order. That's just not really possible. Um, But, yeah, it's I don't understand it how... You know, they're saying, oh, it's the triple crown, he should win automatically. When the triple crown is batting average, which we talked about, I believe, last episode or two episodes ago. So, batting average, RBIs, which are completely like a game of chance. It's yeah. what team you're on, what teams you're playing, what, what team, division you're in, strength you're of bat- schedule. Who's batting around you. Who's batting around you. Yeah. Does anyone around you have can steal bases on a consistent level. Like, there's so much that factors into it. And then it's like, you know, an RBI could be a ground-out double play Mm -hmm. with a runner on third. That's an RBI. Yeah. And then home runs, which, okay, sure, right? I I don't... Home runs, okay. But, like, the other two are... They're so varied. Like, you know, like we talked about last episode, single and home run should not be the same. And when you look at it, like... If you if you get like a let's say a triple, right? Yeah. And a run you don't bring in a run on that triple. If you look at it from the triple crown's point of view, it's basically counted as a single because the triple crown, you know, average. Okay. Yeah, average doesn't take so account into average, anything. so it's a hit, right? RBIs, nope. Home run, nope. Right? So it's a hit, but all hits, no matter what they are, are all valued the same. Yeah. So, that that doesn't really make any sense. And you can't just ignore defense and base running. Especially base running. Base running is so undervalued oh, in So many people game. seem to ignore, like, oh, he was the best hitter. It's like, that's great he was the best hitter, but what about, like, his competition <laughs> around him? Like, how did they compare to him in all the other facets of the mm-hmm. game? Mm-hmm. Like, or they take a guy that plays in Colorado, right? Yeah. Like, let's say you take a guy who plays, let's say the Colorado Rockies, let's say the Colorado Rockies move to the AL Central for some reason, right? And so you're taking Coors Field and the AL Central, you still have to... You subtract the Dodgers, you subtract the Padres, you subtract Mm -hmm. some of the okay pitchers still left on the Diamondbacks, and you put them in the... Yeah. Well, the point is, you can't just say, oh, this guy's the best hitter in baseball, look at the numbers he put up. If he played at Coors Field and plays in the AL Central, right? You, you can't do that. It, do, it doesn't work. And you can't just say he's the best player in baseball either just because of his hitting, no matter what numbers he put up. 
Yeah. Like it like if he's a good defender too and base running, hey look, it's Mike Trout, right? Like Yeah. You can't It's the most you, valuable player, not best hitter. Yeah, you can't ignore those things. So let's get into the things that people did ignore. I'm just going to do like a quick rapid fire of all the numbers really quick. First of all, something a lot of people don't know, Miguel Cabrera was better in 2011 than 2012. In 2011, he had a WRC plus of 177. In 2012, he had 166. He had an offensive war of 7.9 in 2011 and a 7.7 7 in 2012. So basing, you know, the triple crown based off what the league does that year, his numbers were still better in 2011. He finished fifth in MVP voting in 2011. Base running runs in 2012, Trout, 12, Cabrera, negative 2.9. Defensive runs saved, 2012, Trout, 21, Cabrera, negative, point, negative 4. UZR, ultimate zone rating, Trout, 13.3, Cabrera, negative 7.5. Run expectancy, Trout, 53.4, Cabrera, 46.8. WPA, Trout, 5.2, Cabrera, 4.8. B War Trout 10.5 Cabrera 7.1. That's such a large gap in uh, baseball reference war. <sighs> it's such a it is a 3.4 gap between those two players. Yep. I but, would even made it a case that Tr- Miguel w- could have finished should have finished third place because Adrian Beltre finished third place, and we all know how great of a defender he is. Yeah. But guess what? Defense doesn't matter, I guess. I don't know. But based off of all those numbers, like, like, you know, you could say we're nitpicking, I guess, even though we really aren't. We calculated for defense, hitting, run expectancy, and base running. That's pretty much everything. Yeah. We aren't nitpicking certain categories. Mike Trout was literally better in every single category besides what home runs, RBIs, and home average. Runs, and runs, average RBI, was average really sl- close. Slugging percentage. Average yeah, was this, really close that yeah, year. Yeah, Cabrera had a three thirty batting average, and and uh, Trout had a three twenty six batting average. And Mike Trout played really good defense. So so Miguel Cabrera did I not. Wanna, so to those who think that Cabrera would should have won it should. Who fi- who finished second in home runs? Yeah, Josh Hamilton. If com- if Josh Hamilton has three more home runs and goes above, uh, goes above uh Cabrera and he doesn't get MVP, does he still deserve it? I don't think he should. That's an interesting question to ask. I mean, I would if say he... I would say no, even with what he yeah what he put up. Like I understand it's the triple crown. It doesn't happen very often. The Triple Crown doesn't take into a lot of baseball. A pitcher shouldn't win the Cy Young just because he won 20 games if he has an ERA of 5. Right? Th- yeah. This is where we're at now, right? Jacob DeGrom won Cy Young this year. And his record wasn't all that flashy. Yeah, I, I think it was a feeling... nine record, but like a 171 uh, ERA. Yeah, I think it I was... Think. Was it Fields Hernandez who won the Cy Young with a losing record or close to he a had, losing record too? Yeah, Felix Hernandez had a really he had like a eh, record he was 13 and 12. Mhm. And I'm glad that I I believe the BWAA is they're moving to a point where we're we're starting to realize, "Hey, average counts singles and home runs as the same thing. RBIs are completely by chance. Home runs, I don't know, they're cool. They're they're just home runs, but you know, we have to account for other things like defense. Like, like UZR, was anyone really using UZR in 2012 when discussing no. this debate? I didn't hear a word about UZR till like, I don't know, what, two years ago? And run expectancy, didn't hear about it. WPA, B-War. Like, I didn't hear about it watching general MLB Network programming, ESPN. I know, it's terrible. But, like... I didn't hear about any of this. All I heard was, oh, he had a better average, you know, home runs and RBIs, right? So I'm just thinking, oh, Miguel Cabrera deserved to win MVP that, that year. But is that the case? No. I, I don't <laughs> I, I don't think so. Um, but 
let a, let us know what um you guys think and we are going to head to break and when we get back we are going to be discussing some jt real mito yeah. trade talks and how much he is yeah. worth yeah i love her all does she love me but she cut me off yeah late nights on the boulevard hidden stains on an empty heart empty heart 